Hello, Lewis. How Hello, are you? Steven. Welcome back. I'm How was good. your break? It was wonderful. It what'd, was... You, what'd you do? I slept for two days and I recorded an album. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> In that order. Uh, folks, we try to bring you the truth on the show night after night, and the mainstream media is refusing to cover one major story, an international crisis brewing between the United States and Canada. We just got back from a two-week break, as I was saying, during which one of my Canadian writer-producers, Barry Julian, was up there for a visit, and he texted me this picture of a Ben & Jerry's ice cream flavor called Oconada. That's kind of cute. Kind of a cute name, isn't it? O Canada? Bet you're asking, what's in it, Steve? Well, maple syrup, poutine curds, and beaver teeth? <laughs> that was my guess, too. But no. No. Apparently, O Canada is made of vanilla ice cream with fudge covered waffle cone pieces and caramel swirls. Does that sound familiar to any of you? Well, that's because those are the exact ingredients of my ice cream, Stephen Colbert's Americone Dream. <laughs> what wow. the Canuck is going on? <laughs> those socialist ice holes nationalized my flavor. This is an outrage. <laughs> and I am not going to sit still for this. I'm gonna sue every man, woman, and Frenchie in that godforsaken tundra until they have nothing left but universal health care and a reliable social safety net. <laughs> and you're not off the hook here, Ben and Jerry. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm angry. Fifteen years we're together. And here I found out you're sneaking around with a flavor exactly like mine in another country under an assumed name. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't hear you over the spoon in my back. <laughs> I, I, I... <laughs> By the way, and I'll just pause here a moment to say that I just found out this flavor's been around for 12 years. <laughs> and I'm just finding out now, am I that replaceable <laughs> with a cow? <laughs> Does it have the number one late night show in Canada? I hear her segment... I hear her segment, Moon Wiles, very popular. <laughs> I will also point out, friends and neighbors, that all of my proceeds are donated to charity. So far, over $4 million U.S. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what's Justin Trudeau doing with all that ice cream cash? He sure as hell isn't spending it on haircuts. <laughs> and I hear you asking, you're asking, Steve, does this get any worse? Well, hold on to your Timbits. Because look at what my stolen and renamed ice cream flavor appears right next to in the Canadian freezer case. <laughs> the Tonight Do avec Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> Quebec what? Avec, they just Frenchify his flavor with one Avec and keep him on it, but I get bumped for a farm animal? <laughs> Come on, there are plenty of Canadian celebrities to use for pun ice cream names. Ryan Goslick, <laughs> Gordon Lightfudge, <laughs> Joni Mint Chill. <laughs> well, we cannot let this stand, my friends. It is time to act. It is ice cream season in America, and my body may be fine with lactose, but it is an injustice intolerant. So I want every person in the United States to go out and buy as much Stephen Colbert's Americone Dream as you can find. I want you to find it. Buy it. I want you to then eat it, obviously take a nap. <laughs> then I want you to mail your empty Americone Dream container to someone in Canada. There's the address, someone Canada. <laughs> I expect every Canadian of conscience and good faith to scoop out my ice cream out of that sham packaging and repatriate it to its rightful pint because none of this is the ice cream's fault. 
It's just an innocent pawn in a geopolitical firestorm, an ice cold firestorm. You bring my ice cream home. We'll be right back with Billy Crystal.